All right, guys, I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, purpose of this video is to show you some live data. Um, this is our Mercedes Benz C Class. Sorry about the glare on the screen, you may not be able to see that very well, but the ABS light is on there. Um, there it is, there. Uh, traction light is on there, and we've got the run flat and the ABS ESP messages on our dashboard here. Uh, so, what we're going to do is, well, first of all, we're going to we'll show you the fault that we've been getting. Uh, basically, I want to show you two ways that you can actually diagnose the ABS problem within your Mercedes. Um, the first and the most obvious way would be to read the trouble codes. But sometimes you need either a bit of backup if you're not if you're not entirely convinced with the information that you're getting. There's another way to double check. Uh, so. Just selecting our vehicle here, we're going into the braking section. I'm going to click read fault memory. That's giving us rear right axle RPM sensor. And plausible from rear axle. So those are the uh, the faults that we've got. Uh, what you can do is, if you scroll into actual values, it gives you a bit of live data. And click onto RPM sensor, will that be the one? There we go, so it's telling us the information from each sensor at the minute. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. So we suspect these top three um, are going to change when we start driving and this one here should actually just not give values correctly. Let's see now. So I'm just gonna there we go, you can see that there, can't you? I'm just trying to maneuver out of this little space here. Steering is a lot heavier as well. Just wait till this lady gets past me. There you can see the live data for the rear ABS sensor. Rear right is not giving us any correct live data at all. 